In this video we're going to be taking a look at dependency injection and dependency inversion. We already did an example of dependency injection where we created a custom service and we injected the current user service to our custom service. But I actually didn't follow the dependency inversion principle there as I was doing it. So now we're going to learn what the dependency inversion from the solid principles mean. We're going to have a look at our previous example that we already did and we're going to implement the dependency inversion principle there and we're going to fix that code. So the dependency inversion from the solid principles states that our classes should depend on the abstractions, not concretions, which makes a lot of sense. And we're going to illustrate it now with an example. So here is our Drupal instance and we have the Drupal up service activated. So let's go ahead and check the code for it. We have it here under modules custom. It's called Drupal up service and the class that we're interested in is actually the cow service class and the problem with the dependency inversion that we have here is actually the dependency that we're setting here in order to inject the current user service here as an argument we're saying we're injecting the current user service and then we're getting it here in the construct method and we are using it afterwards in the who is your owner method and the problem with the dependency inversion here is that we are saying that we're expecting the current user to be an instance of the account proxy which is too concrete it's it's not abstract at all and let's have a look on drupal.org the current user and how it's implemented if we go to api.drupal.org slash api drupal services and the version of the drupal core we would be able to search for the services that we have there and if we search for the current user we would see here that the current user is basically a service that is implemented in this class so let's have a look at the class currently when we're injecting it we are having the account proxy class directly as a dependency here but what the dependency inversion principle states is that we should not be dependent on concretions so we should not be dependent on the exact class that the current user service is but we should be dependent on abstractions so the abstraction here is basically the interface that is implementing the account proxy class and we could basically fix it by setting the dependency there to be to the account proxy interface so let's go ahead and search for the account proxy interface which is implemented by the account proxy class and we see that its namespace is Drupal core session and we have it here also Drupal core session and we're going to simply say that we're having here a dependency to the account proxy interface instead and we could quickly check if it's still working it would still work but I would then explain to you why is it so important also in this example to use the account proxy interface so let's jump to our Drupal instance and we have the develop PHP module installed so develop 
PHP and here we would be able to get our service by simply calling Drupal service and we would use the machine name for our custom service and we say like this call the service and then just service and we're going to call the who is your owner method who is your owner and we're going to wrap it in kint because we have the kint module installed here and we're going to die there and we're getting the current user again and it's working as expected it's working the same way as it was working before so what we did here is very important because as we implemented here a dependency to the account proxy interface we're already depending not on the concretion but on the abstraction which is the interface and if we want to use the dependency injection container and change the current user service with a slightly different version of the current user we would again implement in a class the account proxy interface and we would change with the dependency injection container the current user service and we would be able to do it it would not break our code because here we're now depending on the correct abstraction so apologies for the mistake i did before and sorry for the two technical video that i did now but i think it's very important and it's a good example where we could illustrate how we should actually implement the dependency inversion in Drupal. So thanks for watching and if you like this video please have a look at the links in the description, like, subscribe, comment if you have any questions and see you in the next video.